That's better. Now they can yeah, see now it. we got some light. We had to stoke the fire. Let me show you the fire. <laughs> yeah. It is pretty good. I want to tell a story. <clears throat> it's a cautionary story, a cautionary tale <laughs> about two people that went into the wilderness unprepared. Actually, that's not even true. We were yeah, prepared. We, we, we just felt didn't like use we it. Were... So, we were going up to Lake Blanche. We were hiking. This is going back a year and a half ago. We hiked up and it was a beautiful hike. We made two mistakes that day. One is we didn't take our snowshoes. We were really, oh, yeah. really struggling. If you've ever been on Lake Blanche, you, um, it's a really good trek. But every time we'd take a step forward, we'd move half a step back because the snow was so deep. And it's a steep trail. It's really steep. Anyway, so we went up there and it was cold that day, super cold that day. And we really enjoyed ourselves. We got to the top and we looked around. And by the time we got to the top, the sun had gone down over the mountains. It hadn't gone down. It's just, you know how when you're in a canyon, the sun goes down over the mountains. So the sun went down over the mountains and we started heading back down. We were in a hurry. We had to go pick up kids or something. And so we, we had to hurry oh, yeah. back. We had to go get my kids. Yeah. And we had a backpack and it was clear full of extra layers and stuff. But, you know, we, were, we really weren't that cold. We weren't cold in our core, but we got cold somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Lindsay especially got cold. Her arms got cold. And I remember on the way down, she was like, my arms feel so weird. Like, they're just so cold right now. And they were. And you could see, too, but she had just one layer on, but she had a core layer. So her, her core was covered. But her arms was, were really cold. Were your feet cold? Do you remember? I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway, we're uh, we're going down, and and it got even colder and colder and colder, and pretty soon the sun. It was almost dark by the time we got back to the car, and she was really struggling with as cold as she was. Uh, and you know, but we made it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that was what was cool. All right, we made it. No big deal. We got the Subaru. And we cranked on the heat because we were both freezing. And then Lindsay's like, my heart hurts. My chest hurts. My heart hurts. And I had kind of heard of that before. Because sometimes your heart hurts if you get like cold or hypothermic. But hers really hurt. And she was scared. And then she starts repeating herself. And then she starts telling stories. <laughs> I don't remember this. And then... She starts slurring her words, and I'm like, what in the hell is going on over there? And she's so kind of, she's trying to be super cool, but she's mostly just gone. I remember she, starting to shake. Like, I remember. Yeah, that was the other thing. Yeah. The other thing was she was just shaking uncontrollably and shivering. And we had to drive from, that was the one of the Cottonwoods. Yeah, so it was at, up Mill Creek. Okay, up Mill Creek. Or was and, it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was one of the cotton ones. Maybe it was, yeah. Anyway, we came down, we got in the car. I thought we were safe. I thought we made it. And so we start, we head out and we have to go pick up her kids. And as we get there, she's not in there. <laughs> but she goes through the motion. She goes out, gets one of her kids, puts I think it was just Wes we had that yeah, night. Yeah. And then we head back to the apartment. We were in an apartment at the time. And on the way back, she lost it, man. She wasn't there. She couldn't talk. She couldn't respond. She kept this real happy smile like, I'm trying. <laughs> I really am. I'm trying. I really feel like I can do this, you know, like I'm, I'm trying. I think I can do it. But she wasn't there. I'd ask her questions. She'd be like, yeah, oh, <laughs> I don't remember this at all. Yeah, she doesn't know. So I was like, uh-oh. She got hypothermic, and I'm not sure how she did. At the time, I wasn't sure. I know now. We drag her back to the apartment. I pile her. I throw her in the bed and I pile her. Just pile her with blankets and pillows and anything I can find that will warm her up. And I lay on top of her for a little while. And by a little while, I'm talking 15, 20 minutes. And she's not getting better at all. And I had Cole there and I had, you had Wesley there. Mm -hmm. And no, it was Zach and Wes. Zach, yeah. And they were just both like looking at me like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> they were scared, I'm sure. And she's, she's losing her mind. So I had to go walk her into the shower and turn it almost as hot as I could stand it and hold her in there. And it was 20 to 25 minutes before the lights came back on. 20 to 25 minutes before she's like, hey, what are we doing? <laughs> That truly happened. And, and here's what we found out later from a paramedic friend of ours. 
What happens is when you get really cold, if you let your extremities, your arms or your legs get really cold and you don't do anything about it, even if your core is warm, your extremities will get too cold and then, but your body will hold the coldness in the extremities. Mm -hmm. Right? It like keeps it shunted away. Yeah. And then when you get back into the warmth, all of that cold, the fire's, fire's going, going out. So you can't see me. All of that cold, um, all of that cold goes into your system and she became hypothermic. So the cautionary tale is keep every little piece of you warm yeah. all of the time. Yeah. If you feel warm in the core, it might not be good enough. <laughs> we had the fire all blazing a minute ago. Um, please be careful if you're out doing stuff like we're doing tonight. We're out in the middle of nowhere, a foot of snow, and it's last time we looked, it's about 20 something degrees and going down. So um, we are prepared tonight. You should see all the stuff we have. I think we're going to make it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's my story. <laughs>